Okay, so recording, so welcome everybody. Uh, very glad that you can all make it. This uh, account, I think, is our 20th uh, Wedding Online Sport Economics Seminar. Uh, it is our third double header uh, and is without doubt the most global event that we've had so far. We're going to start uh, right away with Pramodo, who's uh, in Fukuoka in Japan. Eight hours on from here in the UK, so it is uh, for him 10.30 p.m. He's uh, marking his Friday night in style tonight. Uh, and then at 3.30 UK time, in an hour's time, we'll switch to uh, California, where Nola Aga will present, uh, where it is, uh, at that point, it will be 7.30 a.m. for her, currently 6.30 a.m. So thank you, Nola, for uh, coming so early uh, in the morning for you. Um, each speaker will have uh, an hour to speak in. Uh, of which I've suggested they speak for about 45 minutes and then there'll be 15 minutes for Q&A. Uh, please keep your microphones on mute while um, each speaker is speaking and uh, feel free to put questions in the chat window if you can access it. If you can't, feel free to drop me an email with a question that you might have and you want to raise. Uh, at the end we'll have a Q&A session. There's a raising hand function as well, so you can use that during the Q&A if you want to ask questions. Um, but uh, I don't want to hold up uh, Pramod any longer, so Pramod is going to talk on, excuse me, uh, on who should be the leader, vertical diversity in team performance. Pramod, all yours. Thank you very much for uh, uh, inviting me and uh, thank you very much for uh, giving me the opportunity and uh, thank you very much uh, to all for being here. And uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, so I'll share my screen. So can you see it? Yes, perfect. Yes. So uh, this is kind of the te uh, tentative uh, title, uh, uh, like uh, uh, like uh, uh, I'm from India and. Uh, uh, I mostly like cricket, so today I'll be speaking about cricket. So the title of my uh, 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 paper is Who Should Be the Leader? Vertical Diversity and Team Performance. I'll be uh, talking about like uh, in, in the cricket, uh, the role of the uh, leader is very important, especially the captain. So I'll be talking about who should be the captain. So regarding the motivation, like uh, although it's kind of out of the sports uh, arena, uh, in general, we can see uh, that the national diversity at the leadership level is currently seen in many organizations. As we can, uh, we can point out at many uh, uh, like uh, uh, well-known companies uh, from which the CEO are uh, like foreign-born executives. Like I have given some, some of, uh, I've shown uh, some of them here uh, because I'm an uh, Indian. So uh, like I have shown some Indian faces or especially those who are uh, Indian origin. Uh, uh, for example, like the CEO of Google, Microsoft or uh, Nokia or Adobe are uh, Indian born executives. Uh, this is not only the case, uh, the trend towards diversifying the leadership is also currently gaining momentum. For example, like uh, uh, from uh, last month onwards, Goldman Sachs uh, uh, like uh, uh, said that like it will only uh, underwrite IPO that have at least one diverse board member. Uh, by diverse board member, uh, it means uh, that could be uh, based on ethnicity or nationality or based on gender also. So, and also, also like uh, because I'm from Japan, like there is a recent debate regarding the diversifying the uh, manager, uh, like uh, leadership level in Japan. So the Tokyo Stock Exchange operated uh, like uh, the governance code in uh, 2018, uh, urging the listed companies to make their board more open to people with international backgrounds. So because of this, many listed companies are making uh, appointing foreign born CEOs in their uh, companies. Uh, these are the these are some of the anecdotal evidence and there are many other uh, examples. For example, like if you see the uh, like uh, uh, the uh, like uh, foreign subsidiaries of 
multinational company companies most of the uh, managers or the leaders are foreign ex expatriates even they uh, appoint uh, uh, native workers for example like the japanese mncs or chinese mncs are bright examples so considering this kind of phenomena uh, the question here is that does this kind of diversity based on nationality at the vertical level uh, by vertical level, I mean uh, between the supervisor and the supervisee affect performance. For example, like uh, consider uh, two organization or two team A and B where uh, uh, like uh, for example, like there's uh, six members. Uh, out of uh, six members like uh, in, in team A, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the scene is uh, the supervisor and others are the subordinate. So in this uh, organization, uh, the diversification uh, uh, in the leadership level is uh, mostly not there because the, the majority uh, is the uh, like, uh, like the person who like the majority ethnic group or the majority uh, is in the supervised uh, position. However, in the case of uh, group B, the minority uh, is in the supervisor position. So we can uh, say that like in the case of group B or team B, it has a diverse uh, uh, like uh, leader. So to, uh, to, uh, to see how uh, this kind of national diversity at the vertical level affect performance, I uh, studied this question in the context of a uh, sports industry in India, uh, that is uh, Indian Premier League. So why I study this Indian Premier League is that uh, uh, the, the main uh, idea uh, to study about uh, this is that like we can able to study uh, the effect of vertical dimension of diversity on multiple performance within the same industry in a non-experimental setting. First, uh, we can uh, uh, show the overall effect. And then because as we are considering a non-experimental setting, there might be endogeneity in the uh, setting. So uh, we can also control for various uh, uh, confounding factors uh, because uh, we can we can uh, like uh, uh, get all the performance as well as the all, uh, characteristics in the sports industry. And we can, uh, especially in the case of uh, I'll be talking about in a moment about cricket. Like in cricket, we can also show in a counterfactual or placebo analysis that uh, where the role of the leader is not important, and we can show that how that affects the outcome. And also in the same industry, uh, especially from cricket and IPL, we can show that like what is the me mechanism behind the uh, outcome that we observe. So. Uh, in, uh, in detail, I combine the match level performance data set from 2018 to 2015 season and examine the impact of vertical diversity based on nationality on team performance. So uh, I, I'll talk a bit about like uh, what do I mean by vertical diversity based on nationality. Basically, it's uh, the uh, captain because in cricket, the role of the captain is very important. So in in uh, in the ex uh, in the non-experimental setting, that is IPL. So uh, like many foreign uh, players have played uh, like uh, as uh, acted as captain. For example, like if you can see from this uh, figure that the uh, there are like three foreigners: the uh, second, uh, second, third, and the sixth person are foreign players. Uh, who has acted as captain uh, in the 2015 edition of the uh, Indian Premier League. So I, I would like to see like how uh, if a foreigner is a captain and if a, uh, an Indian is a captain, how that affect the outcomes. So the basic policy variation is that like uh, I, uh, I explored the team level variation in appointment of Indian and foreign players as a leader that is captain. So in this figure, I saw uh, like uh, uh, 
how many teams at what point have appointed uh, foreign uh, players as their uh, captain. As you can see, uh, almost all the uh, team, there are actually 10 teams, and almost like uh, uh, one shows uh, the uh, like uh, for, like foreigner as a captain and zero shows the Indian uh, captain. Like as you can see, except for the first, which is like Chennai Super King CSK, all the uh, teams have uh, like uh, appointed uh, foreign uh, foreign player as captain at some point of time. So I I uh, explored this kind of variation in appointment of uh, captain and I. Uh, I examine how that affects the performance. And uh, uh, b uh, like if I uh, uh, like if I have to skip and I have to, I couldn't be able to show the uh, result. I, I'd like to uh, say it before once. Like what I uh, what are the main findings? Overall, I find that nationally diverse team on the vertical dimension perform worse in comparison to homogeneous diverse team. Because in, in, in general, uh, we see that like uh, uh, national diversity, uh, diversity perform worse. But because this is a non experimental setting, we couldn't be, we cannot say that like correlation is causation. So, for, like we, we uh, here we do many kinds of uh, uh, like uh, strategy to show that uh, indeed uh, our, the way we are. Uh, we dis uh, we are uncovering is uh, uh, directly due to the uh, role of the captain. To do so, like I, I uh, do a counterfactual analysis where the uh, the role of the leader is not important and find that there is no uh, effect of uh, uh, national diversity a uh, diverse team and uh, performance. And then finally, I. Uh, so, uh, what are the channel uh, mechanism? And I construct a uh, uh, performance uh, variable where the role uh, role of the leader is very important, especially uh, like communicating with players as well as decision making. And we found that uh, in this uh, 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 performance analysis, the uh, the effect is, ne uh, is negative where the leader is. From a, a foreign player. So, so I'll just keep this the contribution of the literature. Like in, uh, so in general, I uh, contribute to the diversity literature, uh, considering the nationality as the diversity domain. And uh, the outline of the uh, uh, paper is like this. Uh, next, I'll talk about introduction to cricket because uh, many people might not be knowing about cricket and the Indian Premier League. And then I'll show, I'll talk about the data sources and then I talk about the empirical results. And then I show some results about the robustness of the findings. And then I show the heterogeneity. And if I have time, I'll show the summary and conclusion. So, uh, now I'll talk about the uh, about cricket. In general, cricket is a uh, bat and ball game. It started in England and spread all over the world during the British Empire. And in general, cricket is played in three formats, uh, like test cricket, uh, which which last for uh, five days. Earlier it used to last for six days. Fortunately, now it lasts for five days. So, and the second format is one day international format or ODI cricket, which lasts for eight to nine hours. And uh, the third kind of uh, format is 2020 format. It just uh, started around like 20 years before, and it uh, generally lasts for three to four hours. And the Indian Premier League is generally uh, played uh, in uh, 2020 format, which lasts for around like uh, three to four hours. So, because many people might not be knowing about like uh, the cricket, like uh, for a uh, for simplicity, I'll just uh, although my knowledge about baseball is uh, 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 like uh, not uh, that high, so I'll I'll try to uh, compare like I try to explain cricket in terms uh, 
and compare it with baseball. In general, like in the case of baseball, there are nine players, but in cricket, there are 11 players. And similar to baseball, uh, there are two stage, stages. One is batting, and uh, in baseball, one is batting, and uh, the second is pitching or fielding. In cricket, we call it batting and bowling or fielding. And then uh, there are some uh, differences in between baseball and cricket. So in baseball, uh, like uh, uh, generally every team bat for around 10 times and they pitch also for 10 times. But in the case of cricket, like each team bat only once and uh, they pitch or they bowl only once. So uh, like around like uh, two uh, for two hours, one team pitches and for, for two hours, one team uh, back. So, and then uh, comes like uh, the, the main difference between baseball and cricket is that like when a player is batting, uh, there are like limited number of ball or uh, that a player can bat in baseball. For example, like uh, uh, in baseball, a player can bat up to three uh, uh, proper ball but in cricket, like a player uh, can bat uh, unlimited number of ball until he or she gets out or the over becomes uh, like, uh, like finished of the 20 over or the limit, uh, limited over. Uh, however, in the case of baseball, one can pitch unlimited number of pitchings, but in the case of cricket, one can uh, like one can pitch many times, but one a bowler or a pitcher can uh, pitch a maximum six consecutive balls. So uh, one ha one will uh, pitch six balls, and then another person will have to six uh, pitch six balls, and then the other person will come. So uh, like a single person cannot uh, pitch more than six balls at at, a, at the same time. And uh, for our uh, consideration, uh, uh, the, the, the main difference between baseball and cricket is that the leader during a match is, I, I have no idea uh, in detail, but like in general, the manager of, or the head coach uh, of the team is leader uh, in a match in the case of baseball. But in the case of cricket, the captain is the leader in a match. So, uh, in the in the bottom i have shown uh, that so for example like uh, the zero zero are the balls like for example like a person bowls for six consecutive balls and there there will be one or two minutes break and then another person comes and then another person bowls for six ball and then there will be short break and then it continues and uh, Similar to baseball, they are like uh, in cricket, uh, the outcomes are quite similar. Like uh, the overall outcome is whether to win or lose a match. And uh, while uh, batting, so the outcome is number of runs uh, scored, including home run or in cricket, like four or sixes. And in the case of bowling, uh, the number of wicket taken. So, uh, like because in our case, like uh, uh, we need to know the uh, role of the leader. So in, in cricket, the role of the captain is very, very important. In general, the captain takes the most responsibility of the outcome. If a, a team loses or if a team wins, the captain is generally asked to explain why. And uh, especially in the batting stage, generally the captain decides who will bat at what stage. For example, if someone got out, the captain generally decides who will go and who will bat. Also, during the bowling stage, the uh, the captain select the bowler to bowl because one person can bowl more than six balls. So after six deliveries, the like the captain decides who will bowl the next six balls, and then and uh, so on. And also the uh, Captain also set the player's fielding position, like uh, 
so because the, the captain sets where the uh, like uh, like the fielder will field and uh, like in most cases like captain also communicates with the bowler or the pitcher uh, and the fielder to make strategies to win a game and uh, to some uh, the role of the captain is generally not important during the batting stage because when uh, two uh, players are batting the captain is generally uh, not there in the field so the role of the captain is not uh, important during the batting but in the case of fielding or the bowling stage it is very very important as i have said and uh, talking about the indian premier league it started in 2008 after the success of uh, uh, first 2020 world cup in 2007 uh, and uh, it is the first official uh, professional cricket league in india and it is uh, by far the richest uh, cricket league in the world and it is uh, although like it started in 2008 it is a multi billion uh, dollar industry uh, even if it is only played for one and a half uh, months in a year uh, this year uh, it was uh, not uh, played until uh, generally it is played uh, in april to june this year it, it uh, was not played because of the covid pandemic and uh, people are crazy about cricket and ipl in india also so the viewership is very very high in uh, india and i have another paper like i saw that like more than 90 percent of the viewers are indian and the viewership is also very high and uh, uh, from the beginning, uh, both Indian and foreign players play together in the I, uh, in the IPL. There is a uh, uh, cap, so uh, saying that like uh, in IPL, uh, a maximum of four foreign players can play uh, for a team in a match. So in uh, mostly, I think almost all the cases, except for like in my data set from 2008 until 2015, I think in three cases. Uh, there are less than four foreign players. So in general, so, uh, seven Indian players and four foreign players play every time. And uh, so, and uh, as we, we uh, uh, like see before, all the teams except one team uh, they have, uh, that have appointed foreign players as captain between 2008 and 2015. The reason the, uh, the, the, uh, the team which didn't appoint the foreign player is that the captain of the Indian national team plays for that team and he acts as the captain. So because they have the uh, captain already. So uh, then I'll uh, go to the data sources and uh, description. I, uh, I uh, collect the performance uh, data set of all matches played between 2008 and 15. And uh, all the players information and the statistics are, are referenced from the like the official website of the IPL and there is another uh, uh, website uh, by ESPN uh, I have also referenced some of the uh, characteristics of the player so uh, I can show the descriptive statistics but it's, it's better to show in the uh, in uh, pictures so this is we have so uh, we have seen so in uh, uh, this picture shows that like uh, except for the first like uh, uh, first uh, team almost all the teams have played at least like one foreign captain and the second uh, this picture shows like what are the percentage of foreign captain in a year so in general around like 40 percent of the uh, captain in a given year are foreign captain although like there is a uh, uh, like a fluctuation uh, for example like because uh, uh, the uh, like indian premier league started in 2008 so uh, the number of foreign captains is a little bit lower after that it it it's it stayed around 40% and there is we we can't see any trend whether it's going up or going down and the next picture shows like a uh, like uh, the percentage of uh, foreign captain by match every year because all the uh, team plays around uh, 
a minimum number of matches, generally like 14 matches. And then they go uh, for the semi-final as well as final match. Like as we can see, like until the 14th match, almost like 40% uh, are foreign captains. So we can generalize that like uh, the teams are not uh, like uh, strategizing that like in the beginning, uh, a foreigner will be a captain and in the end, uh, a Indian will be the captain or vice versa. So to show the result, uh, first, like uh, I, I'll show the results in two dimensions. The first I'll show the in a simple graphical uh, uh, presentation uh, showing the foreign as the captain and Indian as the captain. And in second, I'll show uh, in, the, in terms of econometric analysis. We are like, uh, why is the outcome? Like uh, outcome is a general, like uh, whether win or lose or number of uh, runs scored or number of wicket taken. And then the uh, our uh, uh, like uh, variable of interest is beta one, uh, which uh, is the like whether the captain is a foreign or uh, uh, Indian and uh, we have the team fixed effect and the match fixed effect and the year fixed effect. And we like we also include other uh, like match level uh, uh, like characteristics, for example, like home stadium uh, or the batting fast or the opposite team uh, or the whether the match was tired. So other match level uh, like uh, characteristics to control for uh, the match uh, outcomes. So uh, now I'll show the uh, results. So this is the uh, like uh, simple results. Uh, uh, the the difference in mean between like uh, uh, a uh, match where the Indian uh, is a captain and in a match uh, or in a team where the foreign is a captain. As we can see, like uh, uh, this this show the like. Uh, uh, average winning percentage as we can see like uh, the team where the Indian is the leader or the captain win uh, are more likely to win in comparison to uh, uh, a captain who is a foreign player and uh, this is the simple uh, uh, like uh, mean difference here we saw uh, the with the econometric uh, analysis the first uh, column is quite similar to the uh, mean difference and from the second to fifth we uh, include uh, various fixed effect like uh, team fixed effect, year fixed effect and match fixed effect as well as other controls and we saw it uh, like uh, from two, three, four and five and as you can see uh, the there is uh, the uh, the beta one, which is like the uh, whether the captain is a foreign, is negative and uh, significant. And one of the very surprising thing is that like as we include various kinds of fixed effect, the magnitude also doesn't change at all. Like like the uh, the magnitude, it means like uh, the the uh, it's it's it stays almost the same. So uh, in from this table and uh, from this uh, figure, we can say uh, we uh, we found that there is a negative association between uh, uh, a captain being a foreign player and the probability of winning. But we uh, like we can't uh, because we are uh, this is a non-experimental setting where there are many things are going on. So. The most important concern is the uh, in the case of this kind of non-experimental setting is that uh, uh, there is an endogeneity in the team's decision to appoint a captain. For example, like we can uh, consider a, like team which is very weak, they are more likely to lose. Uh, those who are a weaker team, they are more likely to lose. They are, they might experiment more and they try to. Uh, appoint a different kind of captain and, and, or we can say that they are more likely to appoint foreign captain. Similarly, like uh, uh, we, we, uh, in, the, in the previous uh, 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 like analysis, uh, analysis we, we, uh, we could not be able to uh, 
control for other uh, team level on one of the characteristics affecting the decision. For example, like the test of the uh, owner or the test of the uh, like a, a customer. So what we do here is that we do two kinds of uh, strategy to show that like our uh, results uh, are robust. First, we uh, what we do is that like we account for like uh, the characteristics that we can observe that are more likely to be associated with the appointment of a captain. So what we do here here is that like we uh, include or exclude uh, 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 some characteristics uh, to show the robustness of uh, the findings. In in column one, uh, we exclude the team which uh, doesn't up appoint, which hasn't up uh, appointed any foreign captain. And in uh, column two, we ex exclude. Uh, uh, there are two teams which formed uh, like three years after, and it dissolved after uh, three years. So, uh, like one might argue that like those. Or like the, the teams which form uh, like three years after they they are uh, test or they are uh, they might be different from the those existing teams. So in uh, column two we exclude those teams, and in column three because as we see here uh, that in uh, like after the 14th match there is a decline in the number of foreign uh, uh, captain. So. Here, what we do is that, like we on, we only restrict to first 14 matches, which are compulsory. Every all the teams has to play these kind of first 14 matches, and we run the analysis. And we uh, like after restricting to this, uh, we we uh, we can see that the uh, like magnitude is uh, like quite similar, and the uh, significance is. Uh, like there is also a negative uh, relationship between a foreigner being a captain and the uh, probability of win. Uh, this is the first uh, strategy. In the second strategy, what we do is that like we run, we run an alternative performance indicator to provide a counterfactual or placebo analysis. The, the basic objective here is to examine whether our findings is driven by like any indirect effect that we don't uh, observe in our analysis. So for this, we uh, consider a team performance where the role of the captain is not important, every like uh, keeping everything constant. So for this analysis, as I have said before, uh, like uh, uh, while batting, the role of the captain is not important. So we consider uh, the batting outcome as a uh, counterfactual or placebo test. So here is the, uh, uh, like the general figure. This shows the uh, difference uh, in the uh, number of runs scored based on the uh, uh, captaincy, whether uh, the captain is Indian or foreign. So, uh, like in terms of magnitude, it, this is not uh, statistically significant. And uh, next, we uh, saw the econometric analysis. Here uh, in uh, column one, we saw with uh, without any control, which is similar to this. And in uh, column two, we uh, include all the controls that we have included in our regression specification. And in column three, four, and five, we run the uh, specification with those uh, restricted uh, samples, for example, like excluding the team which have uh, never appointed any foreign captain or excluding the team those who are uh, formed later or restricting the compulsory matches. As we can see, that there is, uh, uh, there is, uh, a, uh, there is no uh, significant uh, relationship between the, uh, like, uh, vertical diversity based on nationality and run scored by a team. And uh, this shows that like uh, uh, that our like uh, uh, our uh, main analysis
analysis is quite uh, uh, like uh, is directly affected due to the uh, captaincy of a team. And th like uh, and next, what we saw is that like uh, yes, we found that there is a negative association between the uh, uh, like uh, the uh, vertical diversity of a uh, uh, of a team or organization and its performance. Now we'd like we would like to go uh, inside and we want to show uh, what are the mechanism or what are the channels through which they affect they are affecting. So, uh, like, we uh, we uh, go into the the standard theory of diversity that says that while diversity brings a wide range of skill and ideas, it also creates communication cost and other friction in the organization. There are like uh, uh, theoretical studies that have highlighted the positive as well as negative trade off. Although we could not be able to show a robust analysis. Uh, uh, about all the mechanism or the all the channels, but we can provide some evidence like consistent with the proposed theory. So to uh, show the channels or mechanism, we consider an alternative uh, measures of performance where the role of the captain is important. As I, as I have said, like uh, during uh, the fielding stage, the role of the captain is very important because uh, the Captain uh, communicates with the uh, pitcher or the bowler, and uh, uh, it co uh, communicates with other players. And the captain also set the field, and the captain is uh, decides who will bowl the next six balls. So the role of the captain is very important. So we consider the bowling outcome, and we uh, show that how that uh, affects. So this is the. Uh, uh, the general uh, mean difference and the uh, uh, showing that like uh, like the team where the uh, captain is indian are more likely to uh, like get uh, like uh, uh, are likely to get more wickets in comparison to the uh, team where the captain is a foreigner uh, foreigner and the, the difference is statistically significant so this is the general mean difference. So in uh, next, we show uh, this through the econometric uh, analysis. Uh, quite similar to the previous table, uh, the column one uh, shows the regression specification without any controls. Column two shows with all the controls uh, we uh, said in the uh, regression equation. And three, four, and uh, five, uh, here we restrict, uh, we, we, we cut uh, the sample into various uh, dimensions, like uh, for example, like exclude the team with no foreign captain or exclude the team that, that were formed later or restricting the compulsory matches. And here what we found is that the teams where the uh, captain is a foreign are less likely to uh, get uh, uh, are more likely to get less wicket in comparison to uh, the uh, team where uh, the captain or the leader is, is an Indian player. So in some kind of evidence, evidence that uh, the communication uh, cost or the decision making is driving the main findings. Although we can't say that the, uh, all the uh, results is because of that, but we can show some kind of evidence showing that, uh, suggesting that the communication, uh, uh, there is a communication friction, and in in uh, in in the uh, team where the foreign, uh, the captain is a foreign player. So now, uh, until now, we have uh, we have seen the uh, like general uh, results, and another uh, like now we saw the robustness of our results. Until now, we uh, we consider about the like who is the captain, whether the foreign or foreigner or the Indian. But as we have, uh, as I have said, like there are uh, like uh, seven Indian players and four foreign players. So, and the uh, players from multiple countries uh, play together. 
So there might be uh, that the role of the horizontal diversity or the general diversity of the team might be affecting the results. So here we, uh, I saw uh, the uh, the radiation analysis, uh, analysis uh, including the uh, now like a multi uh, like the number of countries from which the player are playing. So uh, as well as like including the uh, like uh, the square of the uh, team. So like uh, that doesn't change the uh, the findings in uh, like column one, two, and three. And in column four, five, and six. Uh, I include uh, the number of different countries of origin as well as uh, the country fixed effect. And uh, as we can see, the the magnitude as well as the uh, result doesn't change at all. So what we can uh, see here is that the general diversity of a team is not affecting our result. And because I have uh, very less time now, now I'll go into the heterogeneity. As, uh, as I have said, like the uh, uh, like players from multiple countries play together, and also the captains, uh, like uh, foreign captains from multiple countries, have uh, uh, that the, the foreign captains are from uh, many countries. For example, like Australia, uh, uh, England. South Africa or West Indies. So here we saw that what is the like heterogeneity within foreign uh, captains. So this is the results. Uh, the uh, first uh, uh, shows the win and the second shows the run score and the third uh, it shows uh, the wicket taken. As we can see in the case of win and uh, wicket taken, all the uh, the magnitude is negative. In the case of runs scored, it is like positive or negative. We cannot uh, see, but in the case of win and we get taken, all of them are negative. The coefficients are negative. Although, like uh, in some cases, uh, the uh, coefficients are not statistically significant, and unfortunately, uh, like uh, the uh, the statistically significant results are. Uh, captain from England, uh, Sri Lanka, and uh, uh, West Indies. But we cannot, uh, like, because the, the sample size might be small. So, in, in, in like, uh, as a whole, uh, there is a negative relationship. And, and in, in the case of heterogeneity, we see that, like, uh, players from some specific uh, countries also driving the findings. So, because I don't have the time, so uh, in summary, I studied the impact of vertical diversity based on nationality on team performance. I studied this uh, in, in the context of Indian Premier League, and I find that uh, in general, na national diverse team on the vertical dimension perform worse to uh, show the robustness of, uh, of uh, the finding I uh, first control for the observable characteristics. And then I uh, saw through a counterfactual or placebo test uh, where the role of the leader is not important and so that there is no relationship between uh, the outcome uh, and the uh, cap like the diversity of a uh, vertical diversity of a team. And after establishing that the vertical diversity adversely affect Team performance. I saw uh, like some of the channel, and I find that like uh, the effect is negative, where the role of the leader is very important, especially uh, in communication and decision making domain. So, this is my presentation. Thank you very much, and I am looking forward to your uh, suggestions and questions. Okay, thank you, Prama. A uh, very interesting talk uh, and provoked a lot of discussion. Uh, oh. first question: Carl Singleton asks the choice of or says the choice of captain and nationality of overseas players in the IPL often mirrors the choice of coach uh, or mentors. Uh, so that's another layer that you might want to look at. 
yeah, so uh, the quotes? Uh, of a team, I presume, yeah. Uh, so I think Carl's asking you if, um, or pointing out that the choice of a, the nationality of a, of a captain uh, may well reflect, uh, or it reflects the choice of the coach or the mentors. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but like, I think uh, that might be affecting, but in general, uh, I, I uh, like, I, I, I did it before, like after, like if we control for the, uh, the uh, country of the coach, whether the coach is the a foreign or uh, Indian, like I, it doesn't uh, uh, like drive the findings. Okay. Uh, there's a whole discussion in the forum about uh, the performance of a captain. Uh, question being whether the captain is usually the best player on the team um, or they're chosen for managerial capabilities. And there's a whole discussion about the performance yes. of, of captains. Carl points out that captains are sometimes changed in their season. The local Indian superstar starts as captain, teamed up badly, and they pick one of the overseas internationals with more experience for the rest yes. of the season. Yes, uh, the like there are uh, some kind of changes in the captain within the season, but uh, uh, as we uh, here we can see uh, there are some kind of changes uh, within the season, but in in general, like uh, uh, the the general the captain is fixed at the beginning of the season, and then it continues. Of course, there is con like uh, there is some uh, differences, but uh, because we are also uh, controlling for the uh, match fixed effect, so that might be controlling. Okay, and Jorge Tova asks or says asks does do, does the nationality of the rest of the team not matter? Nationality of the rest of the team. Ah, nationality of the rest of the team. Ah, uh, yes. Ah. Uh, uh, here we, uh, yes, uh, here we saw that the nationality of the rest of the team, here we, we are uh, including the number of the countries from which they are coming. And in the, uh, in four, five, six, we are controlling for the nationality of other team members, including the captain and the findings doesn't change. Kid okay. Uh. A very thorough discussion. Uh, I, mean, I think I'm, what, I'm, what I might do is I might um, suggest that if Carl or Alex or anyone that contributed in the discussion, Matthew as well, feel that I haven't uh, covered any of their questions, uh, maybe uh, they might want to uh, raise their hands to ask a question. Um, Stefan's got his hand up, but before that, Rob Simmons has a couple of questions that he emailed me about. So, Rob, if you want to ask, uh, your couple of questions. Actually, two questions have become one because uh, the first one was uh, covered by Carl uh, on the national diversity of the coach. Uh, I agree with Carl, actually. I think the uh, a lot of the key decisions are jointly made between coach and captain, for example, uh, whether to bat first or second when you win the toss, that kind of thing. But I mean, the big question I have is I'm looking here for some control for the quality of the players, uh, and I'm not really seeing it. Uh, and th there's one that you could get hold of really easily, I, I would have thought, which is that um, the star players are acquired by auction in this uh, particular competition. Uh, yeah. The auction values are widely publicised, uh, so they should be available. Uh, yes. What you could usefully do, perhaps, uh, it would be interesting to see the results at least, is include a control for... Uh, the team value, auction value, uh, minus the captain, so the other players. So this is getting yeah. at the other star players. Uh, and then uh, the auction value of the captain himself. Uh, yeah. That might give you a sort of a richer insight into what's uh, going on here. I mean, my, I suppose my question is, are the losing captains actually less valued at the auction uh, and you can get hold of that and test that out i think 
Yes, that, that could be very uh, interesting. And uh, I don't know whether uh, uh, it will be uh, good because generally the, the big auction takes place like once in three years. So uh, if we uh, include those kind of like once in three years effect, I think we can show uh, the effect of the auction. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks, Rob. And Stefan. Oh, hi there. Um, so your explanation relies heavily on this idea of, of this being about diversity and the nationality of the of the coaches uh, of the of the captains. Um, yes. But there's obviously an alternative explanation: is that most of these games are being played in India. And Indians are more likely to be familiar with Indian conditions. Yes, and that might explain all a lot of the diversity. But you do have two obvious controls here to test that, which is 2009. The competition was played in South Africa. Yes. 2014, it was played in uh, uh, Abu Dhabi. Yes, yes, the Gulf. yes. So yes. if 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 it was simply familiarity with the conditions, you should see the captaining effect disappear in uh, the, the advantage of the Indian captains disappear in those years. Have you tested that? Yes, like uh, actually, like here, uh, like in the X, we we include the uh, home uh, stadium fixed effect. And uh, because like the whole, uh, I think almost all the matches uh, were played in uh, in 2009 and uh, 2011 or something like abroad. So the year fixed effect is already controlling for that. And uh, another thing uh, could be that like if uh, like uh, the result is because of the home because the uh, uh, Indian captain, they know uh, about their home, uh, uh, like a ground or something. Uh, like what I, I like, I, I thought about a lot, but here when uh, considering the run scored or something, so there is no effect at all. So I, I, I don't know what to do. Wouldn't you need to interact the, the captain dummy with the year fixed effects to get that effect? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, like I include also like the captain fixed effect, although I don't show here, uh, like uh, including the captain fixed effect, like the results is quite similar. OK. In which case, I'm just looking back. Um, Matthew talks about fan demand and pressure on who is selected as captain. Um, linking locality to ability and experience. Yes, uh, it would be the case, but uh, uh, like because I know uh, something about uh, the IPA, like for example, like the, the, uh, uh, the for example, the uh, captain of the Chennai, uh, so he is from the north and he's acting captain in the south. And in 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 all, almost all the uh, team, they have uh, already appointed a foreign captain. So, and uh, if you can see, for example, the present captain of Indian uh, cricket team, he's from Delhi and now he's ca acting captain of the Bangalore, which is in the south. So, uh, I don't know in what way we can uh, see the, uh, the demand by the uh, fan. So that's why I didn't uh, think about that. OK, uh, Carl's got his hand up. Hi, yeah. Um, yeah, I noted the ne very negative England effect, um, yeah. which I, I can attribute to Kevin Peterson, <laughs> who is very well known for his leadership qualities and getting on with teammates and communication. Um, so with that in mind, I'm thinking that back in the sort of earlier years of IPL, maybe there was a great yeah. tendency to make the captain uh, the superstar, you know, the, the Kevin Peterson, the Chris Gale, people who have, didn't necessarily have great track records as captains. And for instance, yeah. looking at this year's captains, 
Um, I know that the only two foreign captains are Steve Smith and Kane Williamson, who are very well known yeah. for their captaincy skills. Um, yes, so, yes. so, so just as a you know, maybe to rule out whether it's that kind of super stardom effect or whether there's any change over time, and whether franchises have learned is to you know split the sample down the middle. How have these effects changed over time? Uh, I think one of the things, I, although I haven't shown it here, uh, what I I, I think uh, one thing I found it is that like those who are uh, more likely to uh, uh, like uh, appoint a foreign captain in the uh, like uh, in the long run they are like they are more likely to win also. So. I don't know whether I ask, uh, like answer your questions. I, I just think it'd be interesting to, to see whether uh, t IPL teams have realized that Indian captains are better. Uh, yes, yes. So, like, uh, uh, actually, I, I got this uh, question from other uh, people also. Because, like, uh, actually, I, I restrict the analysis until 2015 because in uh, in uh, after the 2015 uh IPL game, two of the existing team were uh, dismantled and two new teams were built yeah. uh, because of some corruption scandal or, some, uh, or something. And uh, during uh, like when the new uh, two new teams were uh, established and uh, the, uh, like, uh, there was a debate that like uh, uh, they, 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 uh, like uh, someone uh, like uh, they appointed like Steve Smith from uh, Australia as uh, the captain. And many people are mad about like, why they are not appointing uh, Dhoni as the captain. So the I think the general answer was that like, we wanted to uh, build uh, and we wanted to uh, uh, like uh, build the team for the future. So we are uh, like appointing uh, uh, Steve Smith as the captain. And we are not appointing uh, Mohandra Singh Dhoni as the captain. So I don't know whether <laughs> uh, they have learned or not. Okay, thank you. We've got two minutes until 3.30, so I think it's probably this is probably a good point to wrap up uh, and say thank you, Farmer, for a really interesting talk, provoking a lot of discussion. Uh, thank you also for being so willing to present so late at night for you. Um, and um, so we'll, uh, we'll take a quick uh, comfort break if need be for the next minute and a half or so. I'll stop the recording and we'll start again uh, at 3.30 UK time, British summer time uh, with the next talk. <laughs>